Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Throwdown Thursday. I, listen, every day I try not to do this because my good friend Larry Diamond says that's what I do, but I do it anyway. So you know what? That's my signature. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Throwdown Thursday. We are calling everything together, all of our senses, and we are summoning fall because I want it to get here. I love fall. I will admit, though, I'm not a pumpkin pie, uh, pumpkin pie spice everything kind of girl. I do love the way it smells, but there's so many other things about fall that I love. So I decided let's do something fun. We are doing a five spice maple pumpkin seeds. They're delicious. Um, and I want to introduce you to Chinese five spice. Now, either you don't know what this is Probably most of you either don't know what it is or have never used it because it sounds like it's only, I mean, it kind of, it's very misleading. So what five spice Chinese powder is, is it's got five spices in it. Um, two of the spices are anise and anise and, and don't be scared because I'm about to say licorice. I hate licorice, but anise and anise star are in this and it is a licorice flavored herb. Um, it's also mixed with ginger and cinnamon and what's the other one? Cinnamon cloves. So it's going to give you that wonderful, wonderful warm aroma. The anise, instead of using like pumpkin pie spice that almost is a little bit sweeter, the anise is going to give it that savory. So this is, a, this is something that can be used. You can use this recipe. You can also exchange this spice out for pumpkin pie spice. You can also... Um, do this as a granola so if you wanted to do more than just pumpkin seeds you could throw in some oats you could throw in some nuts and you can make this as a homemade granola super easy the whole thing probably takes about 20 minutes 20 minutes um, and we will have little tasters so let's get it on so what I have to start with is we're actually going to start with raw pumpkin seeds now be be aware that most of the things that we use here if you want to do the healthiest version possible start with raw seeds raw seeds mean that there's nothing added to them they haven't been cooked um they're raw so we can add whatever we want to this dish so it's two cups of raw pumpkin seeds and i will post this um recipe as well two cups of raw pumpkin seeds this is going to be super easy Three tablespoons of, we use 100% maple syrup. So three tablespoons of that. You've got a teaspoon of the, oh, and you really, I mean, stop, when you stop by today, we're gonna leave this on the counter. I want everybody to smell this. It smells delicious. You can smell the licorice, but it's mixed with the cloves and the cinnamon and all that kind of stuff. Oh, it's so delicious. So you dump that in there. We are adding a little bit of extra cinnamon. So it's half a teaspoon of cinnamon. And then um, we are adding salt. Now, for those of you really watching your salt intake, you can omit this. I actually uh, made a batch, and then I'm actually going to try this batch with a little less salt. It calls for two teaspoons, but I'm right now I have three quarters of a teaspoon. Put that in there. Super simple. You just mix it in your bowl, and you just mix it up. It's going to be kind of sticky because of that maple syrup, but you just want it all mixed up. And then all you do is you have a cookie sheet. And I have lined my, or I'll put a piece of parchment paper on my cookie sheet so it's super easy cleanup. You're literally going to dump this into an airtight container when you cook it, and you're going to be done. All you're going to have to do is clean one bowl and your teaspoons. So not only is this quick, it's super easy. It uses the most minimal things as possible, which you know, you know I'm all about quick and easy, hence my business. So you spread those out, doesn't have to be exact. These get popped in an oven at 325 for only 15 minutes. Be sure you put the timer on. Um, and like any fantastic cooking show, let me go to my oven and pull out the already done pumpkin seeds. So as you can see, they're nice and golden and toasty. And what I've done is I've kind of left them, once you cook them, you actually are supposed to turn off your oven and leave them in there for an hour. And what this does is it kind of dries them out. So remember we put that maple syrup in there? It'll dry them out and it'll actually make them a little bit crispier. They haven't quite been in there for an hour. But um, as you can see, 
they are kind of crispy and they've kind of come together and they're a little bit hard. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the taste test. Y'all wish that you could like lick your screen right now, I know. It's a perfect little snack. And you know, that's so good. We're gonna have little taster cups up here so y'all come in and get your pumpkin seeds. Pumpkin seeds, by the way, this would be excellent as just a snack, quarter of a cup is a serving size. You could also take it and put it on salads. Um, this would be excellent. Um, seeds are, yes, they are high in fat. They're, they're high in a good fat. They're also high in magnesium and zinc, which for healing, remember, I'm going through a healing process. Magnesium and zinc are great for healing processes. So if you are recovering from a surgery, um, it's good to incorporate a little bit more seeds um, to help with that healing process. So y'all enjoy. Come by and get a taste of these five spice maple pumpkin seeds. Also, individual meals are on sale for $6. Um, so we have a few of our paleo individual meals on sale for $6. Get you a little taste of some five spice. Let some in the fall and maybe it'll get here a little bit faster. Um, and that's about it for that I have today. Y'all take care and enjoy.